Now we are going to hear about the Helsinki plan and we have a great honor to welcome the first speaker of the day, the deputy mayor in Helsinki in the Urban Environment Division, Anni Sinemäki. Thank you, Tuli and Ottoville. Dear everyone, it feels really great to have you who have come to Helsinki even for the first time and all the familiar faces as well. Um, it's nice to be with you um, concentrating on cycling for whole three days. Feels good. Helsinki is rolling smoothly, yes. Uh, in my presentation or in my talk, I try to uh, take up things that we have been doing well. And then also um, I try to bit, um, talk about where we have had difficulties, where we have not gone forward as uh, fast or as efficiently or successfully as um, we would have hoped for. Uh, I was already introduced by uh, Otto Ville and Tuuli. Uh, my name is Anni Sinemäki, uh, as it was said, Deputy Mayor for Urban Environment. Um, my presentation also shows that we are in Helsinki living a transition period uh, in the sense that we had elections in June, so there is no city strategy yet. We, are ju we have just started uh, talking about it um, among the political parties and civil servants. So I think that this uh, summit also actually happens in a really good moment because uh, this can be a place uh, where we can perhaps a bit uh, understand better what we should say in the uh, coming city strategy uh, about cycling. And about myself, uh, just shortly, uh, this will be, or this has uh, now started my second term as a deputy mayor for, for urban environment. So I have been working with these issues uh, already uh, in the last uh, council period. And before that, uh, I have a fairly long history in national politics. Uh, I used to be a member of parliament for a long time, uh, actually um, from uh, 1999. So last uh, millennia, <laughs> I started the parliamentary career. And I have lived all my life in Helsinki and on and off, uh, I have cycled here uh, more or less all my life. Um, I chose a picture, uh, and since we do not have a strategy, um, I just uh, picked uh, one of the um, phrases that we have uh, been describing Helsinki, that we are for good life. And I think that um, although there are a lot of really rational reasons for cycling, uh, climate change, people's health, efficiency in the um, fairly uh, dense urban environment to get from place A to place B, that of course uh, also being a good cycling city uh, is perhaps deep down mostly tied uh, with the aim of, feeling, of being a good city uh, where the life is nice, where people um, enjoy themselves, where um, the urbanity is something that people cherish and uh, want to take further. So there's a picture of two girls swimming in the uh, sea uh, where we are by. Tuuli uh, and Ottoville already mentioned uh, that we have an aim of being the third best uh, cycling city in the world. And although we do not have a fresh city strategy yet, we actually, uh, at the very, very end of last council period, we adopted in the city board uh, a bicycle action plan. And I think that this will be anyway something that we will be building our practical aims uh, and work um, for the coming four years and even, even somewhat longer. And I'll come back to that as well. Then, as I mentioned, there are truly important reasons why promote cycling. And one certainly is the climate crisis. Uh, last council period, we uh, adopted a target, uh, climate target of being 
uh, carbon neutral by 2035. That means that from 1990 level, we will uh, reduce emissions by 80% uh, till 2035. And this year, target year 2035, it's also now under discussion when we are discussing strategy. It could be even earlier. But um, what is self-evident is that uh, when reducing uh, the emissions uh, from the traffic, uh, cycling is one of the means that we will be needing. A second um, rational, but also uh, physically very felt uh, field a program target that Helsinki has been working on is um, a program for mobility of people. And it's not about sports that everyone should uh, be active in some sports hobby, but Helsinki's action plan for um, uh, people moving uh, has been concentrating on the everyday movement. And there, of course, also cycling as well as walking is something that is really underlined. Um, and that is something that I am quite positive that we will continue working also during this strategy period. Urban, urban mobility strategy uh, that we have adopted already quite many years ago um, has uh, given us uh, this, uh, this uh, priority order. Um, I would say that uh, this uh, prioritizing traffic like this has sometimes we have been sometimes we have been successful with it, and sometimes we have not. Uh, that it's a prioritization that um, has perhaps been effective, roughly like in 80% of the plans and cases, but not always. Here um, uh, we can see that. Uh, the cycling rate, the uh, amount of, um, or the share of cycling in the overall traffic, we have not been able to increase it uh, as we have wanted. Um, I would say uh, that year 2020 is somewhat better than the year uh, where this, uh, this uh, chart ends. I would say that Helsinki's perhaps um, strength has been that if we combine public transport, walking and cycling together, there, th that has been like 80%, 78% uh, of all journeys being made in Helsinki. Um, so if, if we look at that way, sustainable modes of traffic, especially perhaps walking, uh, have been, they are really popular in Helsinki. But with cycling, we have been lacking something. And one could also say that during the pandemic, when really many European cities, the cycling has really gone up. In Helsinki, yes, there have been more cyclists and the share of cycling from the uh, modal split has increased, but not as much as in many other places. Uh, there's one explanation that in Finland, the remote working or working from home has had its highest rate. So it's also that uh, car traffic has actually uh, uh, decreased as well. Um, coming back to the uh, bicycle action plan that set the target of the, being uh, the third best. Here are the uh, five um, uh, five. Mm, like sub goals, how we have divided the action. Uh, you will be hearing about uh, these um, later as well, but one could say that um, the whole network, uh, efficient routes, there is a lot that we have uh, to do still. Uh, we have been renovating the streets. Uh, I think that one of our problems has been that we have not, we have always done the renovation with the whole bloody renovation of the street, plumbing, electricity, uh, cables, everything. And above it, we have uh, then built good cycling infra. And there's some, we have to also find ways of doing that faster because no city can actually open all its streets as uh, for sort of two years, uh, main streets. Uh, that, that would be too slow, or it has been too slow. Another important thing um, 
uh, the whole work site uh, question. Helsinki is growing fast. Um, there is a lot of renovation, uh, buildings, uh, hotels, housing, uh, street renovation. And um, there's so much happening that actually work sites and their arrangements really have an effect how people uh, feel with the cycling, how easy it is. And we have been working with that goal quite intensively already. Uh, past four years, our former mayor um, paid great attention to the question of work sites, but it's, we, we are not there as a goal, that it somehow seems that it really demands a lot of work uh, since the whole street construction field is something that it's fairly conservative and you really have to push. And we also found digging our own ways of working that you really have to start from the scratch, how you actually make the agreements with those who do the work so that you demand right things at the right time. So it's a bigger work bigger task than we imagined. Uh, bicycle parking, I think everyone who has uh, been in touch with promoting cycling knows that it is something that you have to eventually uh, get going and uh, have ambitious goals as well. Uh, maintaining, we have winters, uh, it's an important question as well. Many things we have been, I think, um, doing right. I, I have quite... Um, I don't know, we didn't find Marty's photos, but this is Henna, whom you know who have taken. This has been one of the uh, really mm, most perhaps symbolically heavy projects uh, regarding cycling. It's a uh, street called Hamentie, I think one of the cycling um, uh, routes or journeys that we will be doing actually goes there. And there was a big debate because um, there was a traffic plan that actually says no to uh, driving through the whole street. And th since it's an old street, um, that was sort of um, felt quite heavily by the car loving people, although there's an alternative street that actually was, you were instructed to use the alternative street, but still that, that was a fairly long debate and fairly long uh, refurbishing, renovation of the street. But now it's good for trams, it's better for pedestrians, uh, it's better for the people who live around, uh, around the, um, alongside the street since it's uh, less polluted uh, and it's certainly better for the cyclists. And I just checked uh, not many days ago, every uh, street level shop and cafe has someone, so there are no empty spaces. Uh, bicycle superhighways, we have been building them. This is uh, one of them, uh, also by the railroads, as you can understand, many people who really commute need these bicycle superhighways uh, that go alongside the railroads. Um, last year, one milestone, uh, this is a, a bicycle the bicycle street where bicycle is given the sort of main role. And here, uh, it's a uh, photo is taken by Anna, who is a member of my team. And I think it's a good photo because it shows that, okay, the cyclists are going uh, in front and cars, uh, the car is following them. Uh, has been a lot of debate, but I think it's, it's going for the better direction. Of course, it takes some time that people understand how it works. Then one, I think, success stories that we have had has been that our bicycle uh, city bike system has been really good. Uh, we even estimated it or evaluated it, compared it, and by some criteria, it has been the most successful in the world uh, regarding how many times one uh, bike is used per day. And it really has... Um, it has become part of the city and uh, its uh, traffic network. And I think when we're talking about last mile questions, people have a lot combined uh, city bikes uh, with public transport as well. One positive thing, uh, current government uh, has done, I think, something that might change uh, many things uh, in the following years, that the tax uh, benefits uh, regarding cycling, uh, they have been really improved, and it seems now that um, electric bikes 
as part of your salary benefit, uh, they are really going forward. And I think this is something that lays a good ground for us for the, for the coming years. My time is uh, soon up. Um, and I think uh, these have been the main points. Um, just a few pictures that we have really tried to um, analyze the situation and take also the uh, Helsinki people together with us. Um, this is something that I think also gives us a good ground that people at least sometimes use a bike. It's not sort of unknown to them, although there has been a lot of a lot of work just sort of taking the bicycle as being something that is not um, for children or hobby-like, but really a serious means of transport. That transformation, I think, has uh, taken a long time. Also, um, just referring also to the action plan, um, we have tried to analyze and ask people how they feel, where are the hindrances and where are the uh, positive um, drawing factors. And I think one thing that is really important to remember that questions like environment or climate crisis, they are not really perhaps those who every day get people to choose a bike, that it has to be easy uh, and it makes you feel good. Uh, and then there's perhaps some share of people who you do it for environmental reasons. But basically, if you do something every day, it has to be easy enough. And also, when you look at the um, reasons not cycling, uh, there are things that <laughs> clearly we have to work on. And my last picture, uh, this is a, a rendering. It's a project that is not ready yet, but something I think uh, we can be proud of. Uh, we have going on a construction of a... Uh, walking and cycling tunnel under the railways. And as in many cities, railway uh, cuts the city into the half and how to uh, cross that. Now we will, in a couple of years, have a really efficient route uh, from east to west and west to east uh, in the city. Um, it's the most expensive single cycling investment and probably will be for many years since... Uh, uh, not many tunnels are needed. And of course, uh, I, I look forward for, for the discussions and ideas since, as I said, the city strategy, we are now working on it, so uh, we should find the best ways to, uh, to define the goals. Thank you.